Welcome back to another video. In today's video, it's time to go back to my roots and start playing solo again. In today's one, I get into tons of PvP as always and claim at an extremely hidden location. In my opinion, one of the most hidden ones on the game. Also, get into tons of early game raids for huge loot and even try to counter a boss fight. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. Oh my god, a red ringed right here. There's zero way. Oh my, I'm not going to be able to get it though, sadly. That's sad times. <clears throat> you probably have to be like level 95 for a red ring, right? I'm sure it's something like that. So yeah, that lock was crazy. If I actually was a high enough level, I could have maybe got that. But it was going to take too much time. It's definitely not level 95 though. It's much lower than that. Uh, but yeah, I'm here to tame a Maywing, get a few drops and hopefully transfer off successfully. Ah, uh, I knew that was happening. I should have placed... What am I doing? Like, I should have placed it there. Oh, well. Maywing secured. Tame. That's... I don't think that's terrible for this sort of level. Alright, that is terrible. Let's take that back. We've got the uh, smithy. Smithies. Uh, I mean, forges smelting up the metal down there. Then we should be all good to go. Uh, I'm just going to farm drops on this map for a little bit. Did want to go Gen 2 to try claim my location, but I crashed two times, so there's no way I'm getting my spot now. Um, but yeah, it's all good. I'm going to chill a little bit and uh, get a tons of drops, hopefully, without people foundation in them. Which I think is going to happen. I don't even need a foundation at this one. Leave the foundation there so someone else can't. Um, got a whip, that's perfect. Got a sword, harpoons, nets. I would like to get a red ring, but it's just like, what's the point of wasting my time over here when everyone's going to be doing the foundy strat now? I really should have never have done that in the first place, but. Oh, obviously that happens, bro. How do I even get out of this? How do I get out of that? How is he 105? There's no way he's 105. He's cheating. And before you think I'm just calling out cheating because I got absolutely slammed by a melee bob, there's no way you're getting level 105, even on a 10x or a 15x, whatever this is, in literally 20 minutes into wipe. Uh, I think that's literally impossible, especially when you're having to do it with large crop pots or cooking pots. So uh, yeah, he's definitely cheating and I need to get this guy banned. But before I get further into today's video, let me tell you about Nexus War Civilization, the ultimate sci-fi SLG mobile game where you can dive into a universe of endless possibilities. But hold tight, because you're about to meet the four distinctive factions, humans, the smooth talkers and the biotech whizzes, Fear, born from the pure light of origin, both deadly and stunning. Aizen, the brainiacs leading hordes of robots, or a queue for rock chomping warriors. It's time to find your faction and build your unstoppable army. Now let's shift the focus to the action. Engage in PvP fights that will elevate your adrenaline levels and set your heart pounding. And during moments when you're not chasing with fellow gamers, prepare yourself in an exhilarating PvE quest that will undoubtedly astonish you. Hold on, there's additional surprises. Brace yourself for a thrilling gacha mechanism, let's give the wheel a spin and uncover the surprises that destiny holds. It's more than just the heroes, it's enormous mechs and titans that will astonish you. Encounter sci-fi environments unlike you've never witnessed before, and as for the combat capabilities, prepare yourself to be utterly amazed. Therefore, why do we delay? Become a part of the cosmic turmoil in-game now, declare your achievements, dominate the cosmos, and above all, reveal in the excitement. But hold up, here's the deal, we've got something exclusive for you. Use our exclusive gift code for over $100 worth of rewards 
back fast. It's limited to the first 100 codes on a first come first serve basis. Anyway, thanks again Nexus War Civilization for sponsoring today's video. So lucky enough that guy got banned in time and I got everything that was on my kit and his kit. So I came over to Gen 1 straight away and I wanted to get a very high level stalker hopefully. So that is the plan. I feel like 150 right now and I'll literally play this game for 13 hours straight. Oh my god. Okay buddy. Every time I do that it actually works. Like. I can actually talk to stalkers. And it's a male, bro, please. I, I beg. I beg you come up with like three, three something K. I already do. 2.4. Pretty bad stalker, I can't lie to you. But it will do. 300 melee, that is not bad. Let's get some females. Breed this thing up. What level are you? Maybe a high level because you was next to. Perfect, I'll take that too. Get out and upload. The more stalkers, the better. Level one real quick. I've got 2k electronics. 2.2 actually. Guy. Obviously, I couldn't pick him. I'm not even going to go fight that. I'm going to definitely not fight that. Uh, let me stick these in upload. You know what? I'm going to go desert and I'm going to go to the... All the drop spawns in the desert real quick. I do need to get some metal smelting. However, this ain't a great map. So I probably might do that on Aberration. Do the OG strat and Ab. Where I just farm a bunch and then get smelting on that. Maybe even put a start on there, honestly. I want to get tracks early. I want to get everything so early right now. I go in this cave so much now. But I still don't know where all the drop spawns are. There's two up here. Looks like there's not going to be drops today. There's one here. Right, perfect. It's not been fully... Not worth it. And they're just broken, honestly. They really are just... So broke. One more here. Yeah. Two. Let's go. We've got two. That's huge. The amount of good flat. We should have like an 800 drawer set of flat right now. Let's see. Polymer then was needed and obviously there's going to be people down here farming polymer so I'm going to try to get the kill and get some free loot. What is it doing? Oh my bro! You are such a... Idiot. Honestly. Ridiculous. So that was a bit of an L. My stalker was actually on follow to my Gigantopithecus and it literally just ran away. So um yeah, I couldn't get a kill there. Last one. Oh, melee stalkers are OP. Anki. A few electronics. Wait, let, let's have a look. What yeah, I've got here. Uh, I thought I had like a good amount of stuff, but honestly, not much. Uh, a bit of useful stuff, I guess. I can use it. That 201 crossbow is nice. And that long neck, actually. Apart from that. Not too much. So I just got a few turrets down, a few forges, and just a starter location, uh, just so my metal could smelt up. It was honestly in a very poor location, and a very easy white if people had the right stuff to do so. Uh, so yeah, that worked good at all. Wait for him to trap it, he didn't trap it, he didn't, still hasn't trapped it. I could jump on him now, but I'm going to have patience with this one. That was slow, but we didn't really have much to be honest. Mm. 
get this off the edge. I don't know what level that Spino is, but if it's actually a good level, I might just yoink it and have it for myself. Because, um... Spinos aren't t a terrible, like, DPS team to have. They're actually pretty decent, to be fair. What level are you? 145. You know what? Let's tame it. Oh my god. That was a joke. Bro, <laughs> he came up behind, killed him, and then I waited for him to kill him, and then I got the kill. Let's see what I got out of this. Uh, I'm sure... Yeah, just... A uh, basic kit, I guess. But that was funny. Just watching that unfold was just funny, and then I just come in, swoop in, get a kill. He's dubs. And then Southgate Rat Hole was actually built in and it only had three turrets at the time and I had some really good armor so I was gonna run the turrets and see if I can gain any loot from it. The only problem they were online and active inside so it might make it slightly harder. There we go. I know I could do it. If it lets me whip my rocket out. Not rocket, um... You know what I mean. Ken bench. These guys might have been poor. I have a feeling they were very poor, but... We will see, I guess. They're definitely const getting constant raided or something like that. Absolutely nothing. And cut a long story short, these guys were extremely poor and they really did not have much at all. Okay, I just ran into a random guy. Oh, 2,200 electronics though. Nice. He was obviously farming them. That's insanely good. And a fabricator. I mean, I don't really need the fab, but them electronics definitely will come in handy. I'm going to give Extinction a slight bit of a scout. I don't really know how to scout the map properly, but I'm sure I'll find something. Um, yeah, I'll just scout around and... Uh, See what I can get up to. Another kill. Another kill. A really insane crossbow. Battle Tartar, Shadow Stakes. Very important. Couple good crossbows. Apart from that, not much. I don't know whether to kill this Maywing. I don't know what he was actually doing though, to be totally honest with you. This is what I mean, early on with a stalker and when you've got decent, I mean my flak is very scary. I've got good Fabi actually. Like I'm going to use it but still. And now for a raid on Aberration which is going to be my home map this way. So many of you guys will know this spot if you do play this game regularly and it's actually a decent spot however they only had one heavy at the time so it should be pretty easy. Easy. I didn't talk too much in that one because I just wanted to get the base done. 
But that was definitely easier than expected. I don't know where that loot would be because by the looks of it they don't even have a I don't know, by the looks of it it's just not looking good once again but he did access his stalker's inventory which was a little bit sus so possibly in there this is what you mean this is what I mean like you either get such insane loot early game yeah, right, there we go. He clearly put it all on his stalker. Got Maven, got Diplo, got loads of different stuff. But yeah, he put all of it on there. Looks like I'm gonna kill all of these things now. I don't trust that one little bit. Uh, the forges I'll just leave there to smell because yeah, I'm not too bothered about them. No way! <laughs> Oh my god. I went and made myself chicken and rice. Because I need to hit my proteins and all of that macros. And I've been raided, I'm pretty sure. Unless I forgot to place a bed down. But I'm pretty sure I didn't. I mean, I could look in tribe log right now. Yeah, I've, I've actually been fully wiped. I'm such an idiot. I'm actually a bozo. Why would I? 100 bullets in each turret. That is poor. That is poor from me. Right, um. We still need to play, obviously, but. I had so much stuff. Like, oh. I was only gone like 40 minutes too. So they must have timed that one perfectly. I reckon they like tried so to or something and then. I still have a kit, so it's fine, it's fine. Anyway, I came off for the night, went and played football in the morning and came on and straight away I got to the grinding. I went to get some men's in pace and I had a lightning wyvern guy literally on me for no joke about five minutes and he still couldn't kill me. I could, if I could grab him, it'd be nice. <laughs> I'm actually dead now. I'm actually dead, bro. You're not doing nothing to me. So there was a red drop coming down on centre and I put a few bat turrets underneath it. Uh, one guy had already realised this turret so he didn't want to come for it so I had to hunt him down and try to kill him. There is. What a rat of a absolute rat of a raptor. Honestly. Well, shell. Killed a guy. Hobbit. Where did Hobbit die? I see Hobbit. Yeah, I see Hobbit. Cheers, Hobbit. Uh, really insane. You know what, I'll take that crossbow. Good crossbows, that's about it. Right, should be an easy stalker dash. I say this and I always fail when I say things like that. Yeah, this is quite simple though. It's got five. Oh, good job I did do that. Because I'm got a zero HP literally. Don't know why, but I really don't like this angle for some odd reason. Durable. It's definitely durable. I need to go heal this thing. My stalker didn't die. My flat got a bit of scuff, so I'll have, have to repair that. But first round obviously didn't go good. Got another attempt, but very easy. Should be.
didn't realize there was more. I thought that was the only. Yikes, uh, then velos are a problem. I don't know. I'm gonna use other stalker, but then velos are a problem. Didn't realize they do that much damage. Right, that one don't have. Right, what we do here is simple. We go. Boom. Wait, you can't net them. Obviously, you can. Don't slide off or something. There we go. Taken care of. Simple. Um, I was about to say they don't have anything. But, they've got some electronics in that for me. I do actually want to claim this spot. They've actually got nothing, really. Uh, I mean, if I get a bit of metal from them forges, I actually will be happy. Um, but it's not looking too promising. Please have good. Yeah, you know what? That metal is huge. I can get my cliff bats in here. I can get my chem bench guy and all of that. That's alright. Uh, five heavies. Nice. And the gunpowder to blow these cliff balls. Well, probably not all of it. How many cliff bats is there? Three. Right, there's three cliff bats, so. A few. Four. That's quite a lot of uh, C4 to blow all of these. I do want to claim this spot, though. It's, it's just easy to defend, you know? If you got it. Huh? Oh! Oh! This must have killed the thing and I got... I mean, that stego is horrendously bad. But that's... That's actually useful. Bro, that flat legs BP 470J, man. A good track saddle. Well, better than Prim. Maybe not good. But that's nice. Bro, I didn't even see it. I was just coming out to get some hide, getting some... What else was I supposed to get? Put me off track now. Uh, metal. No, not metal. Uh, flint. Flint and stone. That's what I needed to get. And then we're going to farm up like 120 C4. Get rid of all of that. I mean, it would be like okay to do it with an off road, but I'd rather just do it with C4. It ain't too bad. Now, what I can do... Just for now, put that there. Oh, I'm gonna put this a little further bit up, like probably about here. Yeah, about here. Where my stalker is as far. And then, as you can see from this clip, I fully built a bait. Well, not fully, but I had quite a few turrets on this, and I heard a boss fight sound going off really near my base. So I'm gonna try to see if I can jump in and maybe counter it, or maybe get engrams. You never know. I don't know why I'm going in. I'm not gonna survive anyway. Have you come here to challenge me? I'm afraid you've made a fatal error in judgment, survivor. in the presence of Sir Edmund Rockwell, Oh my god. I've been transmuted. I've transcended the human. He's actually good with all its weaknesses and vulnerabilities. Bro, is it? 
So yeah, I didn't last long in that fight whatsoever. Anyway, if you haven't already, go watch the video that is up on the screen right now for you guys. It's action packed with a ton of PvP, ton of raiding, and many more enjoyable moments. If you have made this far into the video, please put G55 in the comments and know I've made this far, which honestly means more than anything. Anyway, guys, have a major rush of day and night wherever you are in the world, and I'll see you guys in the next video.